Did you know that Daspletosaurus taurusus, a huge attacker from the same time period as Tyrannosaurus rex, used to rule the fields in the past with its huge size and dangerous reputation? We're glad you came to learn about Daspletosaurus taurusus. This video will answer the 10 most common questions about Daspletosaurus taurusus so you can learn everything you need to know about this amazing dinosaur. Come with us as we learn about its life, habits, and importance in ecosystems from the past. Whether you're interested in paleontology or just dinosaurs in general, this journey into the secrets of Daspletosaurus should be both interesting and learnable. See on to find out why understanding this dinosaur is so important for figuring out how his life worked in the past. If you are a dinosaur lover like me and want to know in-depth information about Daspletosaurus, don't worry, because we are making a whole series about Daspletosaurus that gives you the most information you need to know about this amazing animal. This video is also part of the Daspletosaurus series. You might lose a lot of information if you don't subscribe to my channel yet. Subscribe now, because I'll give you the link to the Daspletosaurus playlist at the end of this video. You can open it and watch the entire series. Now let's explore the fascinating debate surrounding Daspletosaurus taurosus. Question 1. After Tyrannosaurus rex, what was the next largest predator in Cretaceous North America? Daspletosaurus taurosus was the next biggest killer in North America during the Cretaceous period, after Tyrannosaurus rex. Daspletosaurus was a big theropod dinosaur from the Tyrannosaurid family. It looked a lot like T-Rex, but it was a little smaller. It lived in the late Cretaceous period, which was about 75 to 77 million years ago. The Daspletosaurus was a scary hunter that was up to 30 feet long and weighed between 2.5 and 3.5 tons. It had a strong head with big sharp teeth that helped it hunt and eat big animals. Its name, Daspletosaurus, means fearful lizard, which describes how scary it looks and how it hunts. Question 2. Have any other large theropod dinosaurs, excluding Tyrannosaurus, been found with bite marks that show fighting, like Gigantosaurus or Mampusaurus? Yes, bite marks from other big theropod dinosaurs besides Tyrannosaurus have been found. These marks show that the animals were fighting or interacting aggressively. Gigantosaurus and Mampusaurus are two well-known examples. They are both theropods in the Cartrodontosaurid group. The Gigantosaurus and Mampusaurus were big dinosaurs that hunted other dinosaurs. They lived in what is now South America in the late Cretaceous period, like skeletons with bite marks and bruises shows that these dinosaurs probably fought over territory for resources, or even within their own species. These finds help us understand how large theropod dinosaurs behaved and interacted with each other in ways other than just hunting prey. They show how complicated their lives were and how they affected their environments. Question 3. Which animals coexisted in the same environment as Daspletosaurus, or as primary prey? and which predators acted as its rivals or competitors. Daspletosaurus taurosus was a big theropod dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period. It lived with many other animals. Some of these dinosaurs ate plants, like Triceratops and Centrosaurus, Hadrosaurus like Edmontosaurus, and Ankylosaurus like Anodontosaurus and Euoplosophilus. Smaller theropods like Dromaeosaurus and Trudon lived there as well, as well as Pterosaurs, crocodiles, turtles, and small mammals. Daspletosaurus probably mostly ate herbivorous dinosaurs. Some of these would have been ceratopsids, hadrosaurs, and maybe even some smaller ornithopods. The strong head and jaws of the Daspletosaurus dinosaur show that it was well-suited for hunting big animals. Daspletosaurus might have had competitors or foes in the form of other large theropods like Albertosaurus and Gorgosaurus. These dinosaurs lived in similar ecological niches and probably fought for the same food sources. Fossil records have sometimes shown relationships between these different genera which could mean that they were competing for resources and prey or defending their territories. Question 4. Is Daspletosaurus just a juvenile T-Rex? Not at all. Daspletosaurus is not just a young Tyrannosaurus rex. They are two different species in the same family, Tyrannosauridae. They belong to different groups. That was around 74 to 77 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. Daspletosaurus taurosus lived in what is now North America. It is known for being strong, having a big head with sharp teeth, and being generally adapted to hunt. Both Daspletosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex were big theropod dinosaurs that lived in the same family, Tyrannosaurida. However, their head shapes, body sizes, and other body parts are very different. Paleontologists tell them apart as different species based on these differences found in the fossils. Question 5. Did Albertosaurus live alongside the Tyrannosaurus? It's not true that Albertosaurus and Tyrannosaurus lived together. They lived in North America at different times during the Late Cretaceous. The Late Cretaceous period was when Albertosaurus sarcophagus lived in what is now Western North America. 
In contrast, Tyrannosaurus rex lived later between 66 and 68 million years ago, in the late Cretaceous period. Fossils of it have mostly been found in Western North America. Even though Albertosaurus and Tyrannosaurus are both from the Tyrannosauridae family, they lived during different geological times and did not live together. Question 6. What does everyone think about the Dinosaur Park Formation Dasplodosaurus species? The Dasplodosaurus taurus's fossil from the Dinosaur Park Formation is an important species in the study of late Cretaceous fossils. This species is mostly found in Alberta, Canada. It is easy to spot because of its strong skull and huge size, which show that it was an important top predator in its environment. More and more useful information is being learned about Dasplodosaurus in the Dinosaur Park Formation. Paleontologists study its remains to learn about its body, how it behaved, and how it interacted with its environment. During the late Cretaceous, the species lived with other famous dinosaurs and helped the ecosystem, which was already very complicated and changing. New fossils are being found all the time, which helps us learn more about Dasplodosaurus' evolutionary past and its place in the larger group of Tyrannosaurid dinosaurs. This is what makes paleontology interesting to both scientists and laypeople. Question 7. What will be the long-term effects if a particular invasive species is allowed to remain in the locations it's invaded? Related to Dasplodosaurus in terms of environmental impact and competition, there would probably be big long-term problems for the ecosystem if an invading species like Dasplodosaurus were allowed to stay in the places it invades. For starters, this kind of invasive predator could throw off the balance of the local food web. For instance, if Dasplodosaurus were an invasive species, it might outcompete or eat local predators, which could cause their numbers to drop or cause changes in how they behave and where they live. Also, an invasive species like Dasplodosaurus could affect the populations of native herbivores, possibly causing them to go extinct or changing where they live to escape being eaten. This could change the way plants grow, the health of the soil, and the structure of the environment as a whole. Invasive predators often don't have any natural enemies in the environment they've taken over, so their numbers can grow without any limits. This can make their effects on native species even worse. Over time, having an invasive Dasplodosaurus could destroy biodiversity as local species try to adapt and stay alive in the face of new predators. Managing and controlling the alien population would have to be the main focus of conservation efforts to lessen these effects, which should be hard and expensive once they are established. So stopping invasive species from spreading and quickly controlling their populations are very important for protecting local biodiversity and ecosystem health. Questioning. How many Tyrannosaurids are there? The Tyrannosauridae are a family of big meat-eating theropod dinosaurs. There are several genera that have been named. The following are some well-known types. Tyrannosaurus, Dasplodosaurus, Albertosaurus, Tarbosaurus, Orgosaurus, Aliormus, these groups of animals are known for their big size, strong heads with strong jaws, and the fact that they stand on two legs. Each genus in the Tyrannosauridae family has its own unique traits and evolutionary past. These help us learn more about the variety and adaptations of these top predators during the late Cretaceous period. We are still learning more about Tyrannosaurids and how they evolved thanks to new fossil discoveries and ongoing study. Question 9. What do the faces of the T-Rex, Tarbosaurus, Shoching Tyrannus, Albertosaurus, and Dasplodosaurus look like, so I can compare all of them? In the Tyrannosauridae family, the faces of Tyrannosaurus rex, Tarbosaurus, Shoching Tyrannus, Albertosaurus, and Dasplodosaurus all show differences. The Tyrannosaurus rex was famous for having a strong head and a huge jaw. It also had eyes that faced forward so it could see with both eyes, a wide snout with big cone-shaped teeth and noticeable brow ridges above its eyes. Tarbosaurus was like T-Rex, but it lived in Asia. Its head was deeper and stronger, and its teeth were big and sharp. Shushing Tyrannus was only known from a few pieces of its fossilized body. Its head was likely built in a way that was similar to those of Tarbosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. Albertosaurus was a smaller relative of T-Rex. Its skull was longer and narrower, and its teeth were shaped like blades that could cut through skin. Dasplodosaurus was another strong Tyrannosaur that looked a lot like Tyrannosaurus rex, but was a bit smaller. It had a deep, strong skull like Tarbosaurus and big, blade-like teeth with serrations that helped it catch its food. The way their faces look shows how they evolved to fit their surroundings and the way they hunted, which helped them be successful as top predators in the late Cretaceous. Question 10. Can Dasplodosaurus be considered a pack hunter based on current fossil evidence? As of now, the fossil data we have doesn't strongly support the idea that Dasplodosaurus hunted in packs. When fossils of Dasplodosaurus have been found, they have mostly been found alone. There aren't any clear patterns of group activity or social interactions like there are in known pack hunting species like some modern-day wolves or lions. 
However, these remains show that Daspletosaurus most likely lived and hunted by itself or in small groups, like many other large theropod dinosaurs. Even though some places have found multiple Daspletosaurus fossils close to each other, this does not always mean that the animals acted in packs. Instead of coordinated hunting, it could mean that they like the same kinds of habitat or sometimes gather around supplies like food or water. There aren't any clear adaptations for pack hunting, like special ways of communicating or working together to hunt. This supports the idea that Daspodosaurus mostly hunted alone focus on individual goals rather than group dynamics. Finding out more about Daspodosaurus has given us interesting new information about the world of Cretaceous predators. Each question has taught us something new about this old predator, from how scary it looked to how it probably hunted by itself. The puzzle of how Daspodosaurus lived and thrived millions of years ago is still being put together as new information comes to light. As we go through the top 10 questions about Daspodosaurus, thank you for being here. Check out and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos about prehistoric life. If you like this look into dinosaur secrets, please like, share, and follow. Tell us which dinosaur you'd like us to look into next in the comments below.